Hi, it's Rachel with Stirring the Deep. In Galatians 5, verse 13 through 15, it says, For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. So here he is, Paul is saying, now you don't serve the law. It's not about the law. It's not about circumcision. It's not about these religious protocols, right? But he's saying, don't think that now all of a sudden you just run wild. No, now you serve one another through love. And that's what I was talking about. And that's the obedience to love, right? Those who love God, obey him. And when you obey and walk in obedience, you love because his ways are love. And so that's how we are to be with one another. And it says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The real teaching underneath the law was love ultimately and but now it's like don't those don't do anything ever they never really did they just revealed your sin to you those outward things but now you can walk in the love you can walk in that righteousness by the power of that spirit of Christ being formed and created in you and so now is the time to love and that's where the obedience is it says, but if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. And in this verse, it brought to word, mind the words that we speak, whether it's to one another in these different mediums of, you know, the internet, whether it's in our families, with our friends, with our spouses, with our children, what are saying to people? What are our words to people? Are they full of love? Are they full of mercy? Are they full of trying to gain compassion and understanding? Or are they devouring? Because God desires that we love. And that's how we speak. That we, our gentleness, be known to all. That that's where our spirit is coming from, is that spirit of gentleness. And not this biting and devouring one another that you often see. And again, that's one of those things that people justify away and it's full of that hypocritical love. Okay? And that is not of God. Think of it like if Christ, Jesus was standing and you were having this dialogue with somebody, whoever it is, someone on YouTube, someone in your family, Imagine Christ is standing there and he is standing next to this person that you are talking that way toward, if it's devouring, right? And he gave his spirit, his life for that person, that they might have his spirit. He loves that spirit. He wants that spirit to know his love. And you're doing those devouring words. That's not what he desires. We speak truth and love, but we trust God to work out all things perfectly. That's why you got to understand the fullness of God's nature and how powerful he is. Because sometimes people feel like they've got to have their own personal vengeance and blame and justice, and they don't love and show mercy and leave those things up to God. Okay, so consider that whenever you're speaking to anyone and let your gentleness be known to all. In Galatians 5, that's a really good chapter to read because after that, it talks about walking in the Spirit and what that means and all the things that aren't of the Spirit. Okay, so that means those things are not in your heart at all. At all. Okay, and then in verse 24, it says, And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. So if you are having that devouring and backbiting and judgment and that criticalness, you have yet to crucify the flesh. And because those who are truly in Christ have the fruit of the Spirit, because that Spirit is in you. It is the love, joy, peace, 
long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So when that spirit's in you, that's what's flowing out of you because that's what's in you, right? You know the tree by its fruit. So this is something just to look at your own life by um, because our words are very powerful in these days and it's a way for you to see where are you really on your walk because so many have been deceived by what people have taught them about where they are and who they in their walk with God. They think they're in one spot, but they don't really, they, they think they know God, but they don't know him. That's why Jesus says to them, or they say to, um, Jesus says to them, I never knew you. Even when they're saying, Lord, Lord, we did all these things in your name, all these religious activities. I never knew you. Because when you know him, you walk in that spirit of love. And you're growing in it. It's a process. You know, you don't get there instantly. Because as I said, you have to learn these different aspects. But especially now, you should be growing in that love at accelerating rates. Because that spirit is here uniting to our spirit, empowering us to walk in that. Powerful stuff. Till next time, keep stirring the deep. It's one thing that changes everything else.